Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port. Uh... A family-oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. How did you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on, then. I guess you're gonna eat me now. To be honest, the thought had crossed my mind. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle, completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you, probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes, dip you in a light corn batter, wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals, let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, guy brush. Oh. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guy Brush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guy Brush wouldn't have given you that ring. Uh, I just remembered something. I've got to go. You did remember to hide the giant solid gold statue of your girlfriend from all the other pirates on the island. Well, not exactly, but, uh, you know, I... Chuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. El Pollo Diablo! At last, one of my demonic brethren come to set me free! Oh, brother. Come, release me, so that I might run free alongside you as we terrorize the mortals of this island! I'm out of here. Wait! Don't leave! This is going to die! Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean! So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. Yo, Murray. Hey, it's you. Are you dead yet? You look different. Not dead, Murray. Just cursed. Cursed? That's perfect. I'm cursed too. Let's join our cursed forces together. And together, we can rule the world. <laughs> Run, mortal. But do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you! Do you hear me? I shall return! <clears throat> Finally, you're here! Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis! Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids. 
so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and good night. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull! That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. Rest in peace and all that. Hey! I'm not really dead. Oh, come on, cut it out. Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine, be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Hey, there's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. Wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. As if I've seen it in a dream. Or maybe it's... I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! A terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabbit jaguars. They're coming right at me! Really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. It represents a pure, true love. A power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island? I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. That a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies! Filthy, dirty lies! It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. Do you have a reservation? Madre de Dios! Es el Pueblo Diablo! Si, sí, he dejado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight! We've got to keep her on course for Blood Island! Man, Helgen! I'm doing all I can here! Argus! Lend a hand! I'm barely holding on myself, mate! For God, this women! She's the devil's own! We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? 
This be our mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. Baron Salmon Bisque de Good Soup began in 1621. Exactly. He landed on Scab Island with just a spoon and a dream. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean. <gasps> oh dear. He's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of... Skull Island! That's a duck! What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. <laughs>